Welcome back to NCAA on campus. The host for our next story is a bit of a hog. No offense intended. DJ is a tight end on the University of Arkansas football team. And he's here with the story of a fellow Razorback. Thanks, Melissa, and no offense taken. Welcome to Fayetteville, Arkansas. It's good to be a Razorback. Woo, big suey. I'm standing here in front of Old Main. This building was completed 134 years ago and has two towers, one for a bell and one for a clock. Even though there has been a clock face on that tower from the beginning, there was not a working clock up there until just three years ago. A great tradition here is the senior walk, and I think it's unlike anything at any other university. The walk extends five miles through campus, and inscribed along the walk are the names of every graduate of the University of Arkansas from its very beginning in 1876. This year's class will include the name of Blake Strode, and I doubt there's ever been a Razorback quite like Blake. He is the number one player on our tennis team and one of the best in the country, but that's nothing compared to what he's doing in the classroom. In a moment, we'll tell you about all the good things about Arkansas University student athlete Blake Strode, about the nearly perfect GPA as a double major, and about the number one ranking on the tennis team and top 15 ranking in the nation. But uh, first, let's get the negatives out of the way. Oh, probably the only negative that we have about Blake would be, uh, there's none, no negatives. Okay, now on with the story. Blake Strode is almost too good to be true. Maybe that's why he's one of three male finalists for the NCAA Walter Byers Postgraduate Scholarship. Blake Strode's probably the most charismatic student I've ever had. In the 33 years I've taught at university, his smile never leaves his face. I guess the greatest compliment I can give Blake is like having a third coach. The guys are very aware of what he does on and off the court, and he's been just as much of an influence off the court as he has on. If there's someone I'm going to go to on my team, if I have a problem or if, you know I have a question, he's definitely one that I, I look at. Blake is very concerned about the human condition, so he wants to give back. He doesn't just want to take, he wants to give back. He wants to use his degree to help people. Blake Strode is not at Arkansas on an athletic scholarship. He's a Razorback on a full-ride academic fellowship. I'm double majoring in economics with a concentration in international economics and business, and Spanish is my other major. My cumulative GPA, I believe, is about a 3.97, and so that means I got one B. The name of the class was um, Goods and Services. It was a very close B. I think it was like an 89.4 or 3 or something. And I was, I was pretty upset when I got it, but you know, life goes on. I think economics isn't for everyone, but um, I enjoy it. It's, it's more than anything, I think, a different way of looking at things, different way of looking at the world and decisions. You know, it's the study of choice, why people make choices they make. It's always been instilled in me, um, and I have to credit my parents for that, that you know, you give your best to everything, whether it's tennis, whether it's school, whatever the case may be. On the court, Blake counts his speed as his greatest strength, but all that stuff upstairs comes in handy too. You definitely have to do a lot of problem solving in tennis, and there's so many aspects to the game, that's what makes it so fun and so unique. That, different players match up so differently against each other and so with everyone you have to have a particular game plan and I think that people who are able to analyze what's happening on the court and adjust their games accordingly are, are better off. The future for Blake is as bright as a five love lead in match set. He'll go on to law school having been accepted so far to Georgetown, Duke, NYU and on the day we were with him he received an acceptance message from a little law school known as Harvard. But all that may have to wait. That's still kind of a decision that I'm making. I applied to law schools for the fall, and um, that's something I've always wanted to do as well. But, um, you know, I feel like you're only young once. The window's only open for so long. So um, that it is something that I might put off and try tennis. Thanks, Blake, for making me proud to be a Razorback. And thanks to the NCAA on campus for visiting the University of Arkansas.